Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be attempting to DIY myself a tie-dye tracksuit. So I've seen loads of videos circulating on TikTok and on YouTube of everyone tie-dyeing their own clothes and to be honest I don't blame them because PLT, misguided, ASOS, you name it, the tie-dye is gone. Like everyone has literally purchased all the stock and I can't find tie-dye anything anywhere. So I just thought, you know what, I might as well just try and make my own. So today I'm going to be doing that and I am hoping that it goes well. So I'm actually going to be tie-dyeing a black tracksuit today. I didn't buy these two pieces together. These joggers are actually an old pair of Primark joggers, just I haven't worn them that much anymore and they've started to go a bit bobbly on the front and the material's just a little bit worn from just wearing them so much. Yeah, I'm going to be tie-dyeing these and then also I've got this old hoodie. It actually doesn't look that bad on camera um, but I have had this hoodie for a long time now. This was, a, this was from PLT and this is just the same. It started going a little bit bobbly on the hood and on the front and... That I feel like in normal daylight, this hoodie, the black has actually worn a little bit. So the black colour looks a little bit washed out. So I just thought, I'm going to tie-dye it and just see how it turns out. Like I said, you're going to need some old clothing and you're also going to need a big thin liner from bleach. I've just got some normal everyday bleach. A spray bottle. This is what I usually spray my Zoflora in, so I'm going to use this. And as you can see, I have filled it up with water already. I need some rubber gloves because you don't want your hands smelling like bleach all day. And last but not least, you will need lots of elastic bands because you're going to be scrunching the clothing and you're going to need to keep it in place with some of these okay so my first task is going to be mixing together the bleach and the water so we can dilute it because we don't want to put like raw bleach on it so I'm just going to pour into the bottle <coughs> I've actually used all that was left in this bottle actually okay so I'm just gonna give it a shake and mix that bleach and water together should look like this okay so I've just got my I'll show you my little setup I've just got my bin liner down on the floor. I've got my elastic bands, my gloves, my bleach, and I've got the joggers here because I'm going to start off with them. We're going to start with these and hope for the best. Like, oh, they're just in such bad condition. Um, so, yeah, this is my little setup, just in case you can't see it from the angle that I'm going to put you now. So, I'm going to pop you there and hope that you can see. So what I'm gonna do first is, I'm just gonna lay the joggers out in front of me, and I'm just gonna basically scrunch the material up um, in different places, because obviously I want certain parts of the joggers to be covered in tie-dye than others. So then I'm gonna scrunch them all up and then I will show you what they look like before I add on the elastic bands. So it's kind of self-explanatory really because all I've done here is literally just crumpled it all up and like scrunched it up in the middle. And then what I'm gonna do is just take an elastic band. These are quite long, which is good. So I'm just gonna take an elastic band and then literally like secure these little areas and then put one all the way around it as well just so it keeps its shape. I literally have no idea how this is going to turn out, so I hope, I'm hoping it turns out decent, just so I actually have something like new and fresh to wear, and my battery is flashing red. Okay, so just quickly before the battery ends up dying, yeah, so that's what it looks like, and literally that is all I'm going to do with it, and then just going to spray it with some bleach and then see if it lifts. Okay, so I have my gloves on, as you can see, and I'm just going to start to spray the joggers how much or how little to actually then i'm going to turn them over and do the back i 
I mean, I'm getting really carried away here, but oh my god, I've literally not even finished spraying them and they've already started changing colour on one side. So, I mean, this is a really good sign. So, I'm going to leave them and then I'll check back in after I've left them for around 10 minutes. Okay, so here is the black hoodie and I've just done the exact same thing and I've just tied it all up with elastic bands and then put one big one around it just to keep it there. And So I'm just going to start to spray all over it. See that with the black? It does start to change colour really quickly. You can kind of see here that it's starting to change colour. Um, so I'm recommending that if you do want to do tie-dye for the first time, Try it with a darker colour because I feel like it definitely does lift better. And also just make sure that the clothing that you are tie-dyeing doesn't contain polyester. Because if it contains polyester then the bleach will not lift the material at all. So I'm just going to keep spraying and then I'm going to do the other side as well. And then I will check back in with you when it's been 10 minutes for both. Oh my gosh, these are the joggers. This is what they currently look like and I think they look so good. I'm so proud of these joggers, how they've turned out. I don't think I really want any more tie-dye on them, to be fair. I think I'm maybe just going to add a tiny little bit here. Um, maybe a little bit here and that's it. So that's the front. This is what the back look like. L literally just the same as the front. I kind of like this because it's quite subtle. Okay, so I'm just going to get my little spray bottle and add a few more sprays on the back and then I think I'm done. Okay, and this is what the hoodie looks like. Again, I am so happy with the way it's turned out. I feel like this whole tracksuit is giving me like major Yeezy vibes, which I'm really glad about. I feel like I'll look stylish in it, even though I've done it myself, which I'm quite glad about. Um, the tie-dye on the hoodie is quite spaced out, so what I'm going to do is just get my spray bottle again, and I'm literally just going to spray all over in them parts where I feel like there could be a bit more on it and then I'm just gonna go and do the same on the back because I feel like I could probably do a bit more on the hoodie but yeah I'm just gonna pop these in a wash and then I'm gonna put them in the dryer and then I'll come back and show you the after um next to the before image So guys, that was my DIY tie-dye video. I really hope you liked the tracksuit that I ended up creating out of this video. I personally think it went super, super well. And I literally couldn't be happier with the results. Like, I feel like I'll be wearing that tracksuit all the time now. So if you do see it on my Instagram, then, you know, your girl made it. Well, not made it, but designed it. I want to say but yeah so if you want to see any more of these little DIY kind of videos then do let me know in the comments or follow me on Instagram and you can also tell me on there I will leave it on the screen now and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one thanks for watching